What up, what up, y'all? It's your man, D-Real, coming at you one more again with another Be Real with D-Real, where edutainment is what I do. Uh, my team was in the AFC Championship. Focus on the word was. Got eliminated by a field goal. That is disappointing, but proud of my squad that they made it that far. We still... Still a powerhouse in the game, so that's going to have to suffice for now. Uh, just like the Chiefs, we don't quit. We don't quit. I'm going to keep bringing you the finest, the bestest material that I can research and come up with because, like I said, edutainment is what I do. And before I do what I do, like I always do, if you're digging, what a brother's shoveling. Put some dirt in my bucket. Comment, like, and subscribe, and share the Be Real with D Real page with you and yours. Grow that algorithm, and also when you subscribe, you get alerts when I drop new material. So go ahead and do that. What I want to talk to y'all about today is uh, terminology. It's a lot of um, a lot of nerd terminology that gets thrown around. And, and, and since the casuals uh, want to insinuate themselves into the nerd world, my feeling is they need to understand the world that they're in. And in order for them to understand that, they have to be educated. And it's going to be done in an entertaining way. So guess who gets to do that? All right, the term I want to kick at y'all today is street level hero. Who, what, when, where, why? What is a street level hero? That depends. Depends on... Um, who you're talking about and what universe you're talking about them in because in the 616 a lot of heroes that are considered street level have gone a little bit beyond that and a lot of heroes who are considered street level in the MCU are and, and, and are not okay first let me give you the understanding of what a street level hero is. It is precisely that. A street level hero deals with street level threats. Street level threats can include anything from a purse snatcher, a mugger, uh, gang members, um, all the way up to mob and mob related type groups and organizations as well as the muscle that they hire. A good example of a street level hero would be someone like Daredevil. Daredevil defends his little patch of New York, Hell's Kitchen, against crime and all of that sort of thing. Another excellent street level hero, or should I say anti-hero, is the Punisher. Now, the Punisher and uh, Daredevil different. Yeah, way different. First of all, the way they fight is different. Daredevil relies primarily on his superhuman senses and martial arts skills, whereas Frank Castle just blows everybody away. If you're a criminal, you're guilty and you die. Uh, another example of a street, and a street level hero, understand, a street level hero does not necessarily have to be a normal human. More often than not, street level heroes do possess superhuman powers like my man Luke Cage. Luke Cage is considered the quintessential street level hero because he deals with street level threats for the most part. Recently though, 
we've begun to kind of branch Luke off into some things that that are a little higher than street level when he was running his own team of Avengers. So they were dealing with way more than street level threats. But here's the issue. Um, and even in the MCU, Spider-Man is dealing with just a wee bit more than those street-level challenges. He's getting a lot more than a street-level challenge. Now, here's the issue that you end up with when you start turning street-level heroes like Luke Cage and Spider-Man or even over at DC, folks like Batman into these super powerful omnipotent characters or not omnipotent but just way more powerful than a street level if you were to put spider-man in that iron spider armor just on the street on the regular rocking around he's gonna dust off like 90 percent of the the street level characters that he comes across you know but He's rubbing, you know, elbows into one nine 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 with the likes of folks like Thor and Guardians of the Galaxy and fighting Thanos. So that's way beyond street level. But you got folks, you know, like Iron Fist and and and, and Shang Chi who 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 rely primarily on skill being turned into a lot more than just a street level hero. At least in the case of Shang Chi in uh, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. So, like I was saying, the, the, the potential problem you run into when you make street-level characters more than street-level is, guess what? There's still going to be street-level crime. So if you elevate the street-level heroes to more than just being street-level, Who's going to deal with the street level crime? You know, the crime that affects folks like you and me. Not that Dr. Doom stuff, not that Thanos stuff, not that Magneto stuff. We talk about in the block, on the, on the street, in the hood. Who's dealing with that? You know what I'm saying? Who's dealing with the kingpins? Who's dealing with the hand? Who's dealing... You know, with, 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 with these gangs and, you know, lower level stuff, because there's still going to be petty crime because we all know for a fact crime occurs because of opportunity, proximity, and um, necessity. You know what I'm saying? If, if I'm in reduced circumstances and I got to get me something to eat, I got to feed my family, I'm going to be selling drugs. I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be committing those little petty crimes and things like that to eat. Eventually, at some point, somebody like a Spider-Man or a Daredevil is going to come across me. You know, um, if there's no Daredevil, you know, if Daredevil joins the Avengers and goes off dealing with Avenger level threats, you know, if if uh, Luke Cage runs off and joins the initiative, the Avengers, you know, you too busy dealing with Avenger level and initiative level threats. Who's going to protect the streets? You know, we got our Electras, you know, and even recently, you know, Electra is taking up the man on Daredevil while Daredevil's locked up and she's handling that street thing real nice. I know Matt appreciates that, that his girl said, I got you. I'll step in and handle that for you. But what happens when she decides, oh, I might get some powers and I want to rule the hand and we're going to do this mystic stuff. So then that's going to call for Dr. Strange or, or, or Brother Voodoo or somebody like that. So then it becomes more than street level. Street level, dare I say it, was where the vast majority of heroes came from during the Golden Age. I mean, uh, you had folks like the Angel... You had folks like the Tarantula. You had um, folks, I mean, you had your street level heroes and they stayed in their lane. But we're out here trying to entertain and make things larger and, 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 and more, you know, cosmic than what they need to be. But there's still folks on the street 
that need to be beat up, handled, put in jail, or, or, or shot off and thrown into the river, however, whichever street-level character deals with it. Um, street-level characters are necessary. Street-level characters are where, you know, the heart of vigilantism comes from, at least not the deranged type. But what do y'all think? Do y'all think street-level characters are needed? Yeah or no? Drop it in the comments. And as always, I will be coming at you with another one of them other ones. And until I do, y'all, be good. Be good to each other.